Bob Steele has taught social studies at Rye High School for the last 21 years. He served for some of that time as department chair, and he's been a graduate level instructor at Teachers College at Columbia University. He's been a project editor for the Encyclopedia of New York City, and he serves on the board of the Rye Historical Society. A number of years ago, Bob had the inspiration to invite combat veterans into his classroom to share their experience and thereby give his students a realistic idea of what uh, warfare was really like. Two of our late past commanders were among those veterans. Uh, Jack Veer spoke about D-Day and the Battle of the Bulge. John Lagatuda spoke about his experiences on a PT boat in the Philippines at the Battle of Leyte Gulf and later on as a corpsman serving with the Marines in the Battle of Okinawa. That classroom role is now being filled by a Vietnam veteran named Tom Giorgi. Bob has also, for a long time, been the coordinator of the John M. Kingery Memorial Essay Contest, uh, which we'll be addressing later on today. He's been responsible for publicizing that, collecting the entries, making sure the uh, students are on deadline, and uh, generally putting in a lot of work. He's been strongly supportive of all our veterans' programs here in Rye. Now, a funny story, about six years ago, Emily and I were in San Francisco for a Navy reunion of my ship's company, and we're walking up Post Street on the way to Union Square, and who appears in front of us but Bob Steele? And we didn't think there was anything strange about that. In fact, he and Tanya and the boys were there for a food event. But I'd like Bob to come up now and receive an award. <laughs> Thank you, Tom, and all of the Rye American Legion for everything you have done and for choosing me for this year's Americanism Award. It is truly one of the ultimate honors of my life to have been chosen for such a distinction. Having Rye veterans like World War II hero Jack Veer share stories in my classes really has been one of the greatest highlights of my teaching career. Really bringing history to life and making students appreciate the incredible bravery and contributions our veterans make to our nation. I also want to thank the Rye American Legion for continuing to support the Memorial Day Essay Contest and choosing winners each year, as well as Rye Ford for donating so much money to be given to the winners each year. I would also like to congratulate the winners of this year's contest. It really means so much to our veterans to see teenagers show that Memorial Day is more than just a school vacation. It is a time to sincerely think about the men and women who serve our country and honor those who passed away at war. As the son of a World War II soldier, I'd like to thank all of you for so much of your service. On this and every day, it's important to remember that we are the land of the free, home of the brave, but that we are also the land of the free because of the brave. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 